Hello everyone, I am Jason Matthew from We Can EduTech, where we make learning to use educational technology simple. Breakout rooms allow you to divide up your participants in smaller groups, and each group will work independently of each other. Breakout rooms are not new to Zoom, and I have discussed breakout rooms in detail in a previous video, link in the description below. What's new is that Zoom version 5.3 and later allows participants to choose their own breakout rooms with no assistance from the host. This new feature allows participants to select their own breakout rooms, provided that they too are using Zoom version 5.3 or later. So the first set of steps will be that we want to make sure that our Zoom desktop client is updated. We have version 5.3 or later and also that the, we are ensure that the breakout room settings are on. So that's what we're going to check for now. All right, so the first thing I will be doing is I'm going to be opening up my Zoom desktop client. So my Zoom desktop client is normally at the bottom here. Um, so look out for this icon on your computer. So I click on this, my Zoom desktop client. And as I said, you want to make sure that you have Zoom 5.3 or later. So you click in the top right corner where your either your profile picture or your initials are, and then you scroll down a bit and you check for updates. Uh, if you don't have the most up-to-date version of Zoom, it will prompt you to install the update and so on. So you could go through those steps. For me, I have version 5.5.1, and for this recording, that's the latest version. So I click done. Now the next thing we have to do is to make sure that our breakout room settings are on. So the way in which we do that is that we have to check it on the web client. So I click on my um, profile picture again, but this time I'm clicking on settings. And when this window comes up, I'm going to click view more settings. And that directs me to the web browser version of my um, Zoom or Zoom portal. So I'm just going to close this window off and I'm going to minimize my Zoom desktop client for the meantime. And there I'm in the Zoom web portal and I'm in the settings here. Now you can scroll down until you see breakout room, but that's a shortcut. You can click in meeting advance and that does the scrolling down for you. And as you can see, there's breakout room here and mine is already on and it's also locked by the admin which is a very smart thing it means that the admin has prevented the users from disabling breakout room so breakout room will be always on for these users so that's a smart thing all right so my zoom desktop client is up to date my breakout room settings are on the next thing i want to do is schedule a meeting so i'm going to call this uh, zoom demo Let's keep it simple. Uh, just make it a recurring meeting. I'm going to leave all the other options. Now, the one that, that you want to look at here is under meeting options, you want to check the box breakout room pre assign Because what that means is that you could actually create the breakout rooms before you even have your meeting. So you create the breakout rooms, and then when you have the meeting, you can have your participants choose the breakout rooms that you have created. So I'm going to check that box. And as I check that box, you see I get some options here. I can create the rooms. So I click on create rooms. And now next to rooms, there's this plus sign. I click on the plus sign. And there's the first breakout room. Now I can rename these breakout rooms. So for instance, in this hypothetical meeting, I want to break up my group into two smaller groups. And one group is going to be discussing advantages for something that we, dis we are talking about. And then the other group is going to discuss disadvantages. And then we're going to come together and talk as an as a entire class. So my first breakout room, what I'm going to do is go over to breakout room. Uh, as soon as I hover over breakout room one, the pencil icon comes up. I click on the pencil icon. And when I do that, I can now edit the name of the breakout room. So I could call this one advantages and when I'm finished I click the plus sign for the second breakout room so you see I get breakout room 2 and I click on it so it gets blue so that means it's selected and then I go over to the right and I click on the pencil icon 
And again, I can give Breakout Room 2 a new title. So I'm going to call that Disadvantages. And then I can click anywhere in this room box. So now I have an Advantages room and I have a Disadvantages room. And once I'm happy with all the rooms that I've created, I can click Save. So now these rooms are already um, pre-assigned and it means that they'll be ready and there for when I actually have the meeting. So I click Save. And now the, the, the meeting that we just created, Zoom demo, is saved. I have my breakout rooms already saved and so on. Now you could use your Zoom web portal to start your meeting and stuff, but I really like my Zoom desktop client. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to minimize my Zoom web portal now. And I'm going to go back to my Zoom desktop client. Now if I go to meetings, there at the bottom is my Zoom demo meeting that I just created via the Zoom web portal. I click on it and then I'm going to click start and that will start the Zoom demo meeting. I click on join with computer audio and now I'll wait for the participants to join this meeting. Okay, so I have waiting rooms enabled. So I see that there are two participants um, in the waiting room waiting to enter the meeting. So I just click on view and there's Ethan and Stan. I was expecting them to join the meeting. So I click admit all. Okay, so I have um, Ethan and Stan and myself in the meeting. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to click on breakout rooms. Now, when I click on breakout rooms, remember we have already have advantages and disadvantages, breakout rooms pre-assigned. If I click on the gear wheel in the bottom left corner there, and I click on it, I have a few options here. So the first one is the one I'll be looking at today, which is to allow participants to choose room. So it means that participants will be allowed now to choose whichever room they want to go in. So these two participants might go in the same room or in a different rooms. Um, it all depends on their choice. Allow participants to return to the main session at any time. So that means that if you have this check, they can leave the breakout room and go back to the main session. If you have it unchecked, they have to remain in the breakout room until you close off the breakout rooms, automatically move all assigned participants. But that's like if you wanted the software now to assign people to the breakout rooms. But as I said, in this example, we're going to let them allow them to choose their own rooms, the participants. Auto close breakout rooms. Like if you want your breakout room to last 30 minutes or whatever amount of minutes um, and, and then have it automatically closed, you can do that. I tend to kind of stay away from that option. I, I rather as the host to have manual control over when I will close the breakout room. And then in countdown after closing breakout room, the default is 60 seconds. But from my experience, that's way too much time for a countdown. I tend to limit it uh, 15 seconds, sometimes 10 seconds. So you could just highlight, choose 10 and that's it. All right. And then once you have the options there, you just click out. So now if I click back in, you see the options are saved. All right. And once I'm ready to start the breakout room session, I can just click on open all rooms. And what will happen now, you see that there are two people unassigned. Now I, as the host, I can still um, click the assign to and assign, like let's say Ethan to one of these rooms and the same for Stan. Um, just remember that because I have the option now where participants can choose whatever room, it means that the participant, if I assign them to that room, let's say I assign Ethan to, to the advantages breakout room, he can stay there or he can actually leave that room and join another room. So that is just something to think about. Once you have the, the option of allowing them to choose whichever room, they can jump from one room to the next. Now, if you as the host is not assigning the participants to the breakout rooms as well as you know letting this zoom do it and you're leaving it up to the participants to choose the breakout room you need to tell them as the host that you have opened the breakout rooms so then what they, what each participant will do is that they will now click on their screen and choose whichever breakout room so for instance the student stan lee what he has to do is go to his control panel, click on breakout rooms, and there he will have a choice between the two breakout rooms. 
that are available. And then he goes to the right hand side where there's the blue. So it tells me right now, it tells Stanley, I should say, that there are nobody in advantages group. There's nobody in the disadvantages group. So he can click, once he hovers over the number, it says join. So let's say Stanley joins the advantages group and then he'll just confirm by clicking yes. And Ethan will do the same thing where he would choose, he could choose between the advantages or the disadvantages group. And you as the host, you can monitor the situation. So you know which participants have chosen a, a breakout room so far and who hasn't. So, so far, according to, to what we are seeing, Ethan hasn't chosen a breakout room as yet. You could assign him a breakout room or you could ask him to. Now, if you want to assign him the breakout room, just hover around his name and you could click assign to. But Ethan has chosen the disadvantages group. So he has gone there. Now, during the meeting, you can move people from one group to the other and so on. Once the breakout room session is finished, you click close all rooms and they will be they will get the countdown to come out or they can leave once once you close the room they can leave at any time so leave the breakout room and the participants come back to the main session now as the host you have a few options so if you want you can click the recreate button and when you click the recreate button it has two options recover to pre-assigned rooms or recover all rooms. Now, if you click recover to pre-assign rooms, the pre-assigned rooms will be the disadvantage room and the advantages room that, that we had created before the meeting start. So I can do that and I click yes. And what happens is that the rooms are recreated and your students will again have another try at those same kind of rooms. Now, look, you have some editing capability so you can delete the room if you don't want it anymore you could rename the room to something else so that's what you can do now let's look at the other option if i click the recreate button and i click recreate all rooms now when i do that it's going to give me a fresh start so to speak so you see i can now create i can choose how many rooms i want so let's say i wanted five rooms for some reason and I can then choose how the participants are assigned to these rooms. Are they assigned automatically? So we let Zoom do it. Or we, we have assigned manually where the host, in this case myself, I will assign these participants manually. Or once again, you can say, let participants choose the room. And if I click recreate, now you see there are five rooms. All right, and you can rename these rooms. You can delete whichever one just by hovering over them. And then you could assign partic the participants to these different rooms. And let's say, for instance, you had five rooms, but then you're thinking, oh, I should add another one. There's an add room button. So there's a lot of editing capabilities that you have um, within while the meeting is going on. So that, that's kind of pretty cool. And when you're ready to start the breakout room session, well then you'll click open up, you'll click on open all rooms and the breakout room session will begin. One thing to remember guys, if you want the participants to be able to choose the breakout rooms themselves, they have to have version 5.3 or later. So please, if your participants are saying that they can't choose the, their own rooms, Remind them that they have to update their Zoom desktop client to 5.3 and later. Be sure to check out our other Zoom videos. I did another video that talked in great depth about breakout rooms. So you can check that one out. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Be safe. Take care. Bye-bye.